Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to the Brown Channel where I get solutions to all the solving problems. It's science having in class again today, our routine. On today's tutorial, we are going to use this uh, digital elevation model to try to determine the volume of a uh, water that can be contained, right? Good. Now we have a digital elevation model, we can decide to change the color around to something like this. Good. So um, we have believed that um, this um, bluish region is actually a water body. And then we have um, a shape file that helps us define that water body. Let's make this black and then perhaps I'll increase this to three or five so that um, it can be more legible. Good. So we have also yeah, created um, a shape file that will help us define this water body, right? Good. So we want to determine the volume of water that would be contained. Um, we are also going to get um, a surface elevation after we have um, clipped or maybe extracted this region out. So the first thing is that um, we need to extract this um, our area of interest in this um, black polygon, right? Good. So we search for extract by max. Good. So we have it there. So the impute raster is actually the raster we have here. And then the impute um, fissure max data, let's use the river, right? Good. So by the time you click on each of them, the help will help you understand what they mean, right? Good. So let's click on OK. Good. So the extract by max um, command or Tool has been executed successfully. We can decide to take this one out, also change the color ramp to um, what it is we used. Good. So you can now see the bluish area, right? Now, before we proceed, please pay attention to the high um, water value, we call it water value, but the high elevation and then the low elevation, right? Good. So we are assuming that um, for this particular thing, this is the highest point and then this is the lowest point. The lowest point is um, usually inside of maybe the water body in this our context, right? Good. So um, we are going to ensure that the particular tool is um, working. So we come down to customize, go to extension. Good. Now under extensions, we ensure that what the 3D analyst tool is actually working because the next um, stage of the tutorial has to do with it. So I will have extracted by Max. Let's now search for surface volume. Good. It's actually a 3D analyst tool. You can see it. Good. Now um, the inputs for the surface volume, they said it calculates the area and volume of the region between a surface and a reference plate. Remember I told you that um, if you pay attention to the high and then the low value of our extracted digital elevation model, right? Good. Now we have um, 243 as the lowest value and then 558 as the highest value, right? Good. What we want to do now is that we want to create an arbitrary plane between the lowest and the highest. So let's say that our arbitrary plane is 350 meters. So we want to determine the volume of water that will be contained from that 350 meters down to the lowest plane of what uh, of 243, right? Good. So the First thing is the input, which is what our extracted them. Then um, the output, maybe we just call it a um, volume or something. Then the reference plane. Now, the reference plane, the direction from the reference plane for which to calculate the result. When they say above, volume and area calculations will represent the region of space between the specified plane height and the portion of the surface that are above the plane. Now, the specified plane height is what the 350 that um, we are trying to use. And then if it is actually above, so it's 350 meters from 350 meters upward. So we are moving from 350 meters to 558. However, our reference plane is below because we are trying to move from 350 meters down towards um, 243. Because, you know, 243... If you are trying to go from the highest to the lowest, you will go from 243 to 350, which is the plane we are trying to use, the, the height of the plane we are trying to use. 
and then before you get down towards 558 right so what we are trying to do now is that we know that the lowest elevation here is 243 and then the highest is um, 558 however we have created an arbitrary surface just in between which is now what 350 so we want to now calculate the volume from that 350 downward right good so that's why we are saying it is what 350 below so the plane height let's use what 350 right now the z factor the z factor by which values will be multiplied this is typically used to convert z linear units to match them x y linear units now this was the reason why we have used what the utm the raster projected them data set right or the reprojected raster data set because um this is utm whose unit is meter then the elevation is also having a unit in meter so if we had used the um a raster data set whose unit is in latitude and longitude that's degrees right good you would not really have used one as z factor which might be a bit uh, complicated and might not give you the true value of what is actually on ground so for us to have a, a uniform unit, we had to use what a reprojected raster. So if you want to see how to reproject your raster, you can check the last video before this one, and the link will also be on the description section of this particular video, right? Good. So these are the inputs for what the surface volume. So let's click on OK. So we have what the text. Let's um, open it up good so this is the result that shows you can see the plane height the z factor the area in 2 the, the area in 3d and then the volume right good so this is what we are looking for the volume if you are also interested in the area you can also have the area and then if you're interested in the volume you can actually want to stick to the volume so thanks for coming to class we open we have shown you how to create or yeah if you have an arbitrary um theory and then you have a digital elevation model that arbitrary terrain is actually dependent on what you want right good because the digital elevation model will give you the range of elevations that's from the highest to the lowest maybe the high to the low so you now look for a value between those two values you use that as a surface of interest from which you want to determine the volume either below or above right good then you now get what your volume report, you we call it a volume report, you get this on text file that uh, the table that shows what the results. So thanks for coming to class. We open, we have shown you another way to process your, yeah, to get insight from your digital elevation model. We are going to see you on the next one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.